Hello everybody and welcome to JAM Academy. In this beautiful problem, we have two blocks stacked together, connected by a unique by one string over a smooth frictionless pulley. Now the system block one is pulled by a constant force F such that the system moves to the constant speed. We need to find F and the tension in the string in terms of given variables. The very first thing we need to do is to draw a free body diagram. Remember that there is tension, there is tension acting in this direction on block one. Let's call this tension T. Now, um, block one slides on block two. That means that there is static friction, sorry, kinetic friction. Um, this is F, K produced by one on two. There is a normal force here, the normal force by one on two. You definitely have um, mg, the weight. Similarly for block two, you have the weight. This is two mg. You have the constant force F. You have the tension T as well. Now, there are two things here. You have a force acting downwards. This is N21, the normal force of block 2 on block 1. And you have a force acting upward. This is N surface 1, the normal force of the surface on block 2. So another way for us to represent this is just to... Out here, this is N S1 and this is N21. And I think this, remember that the friction force on block one acts to the right, but the friction force on block two acts to the left. So if we include that there, we will have, there is a friction force. This is F K um, two on one. So, the next step is for us to apply Newton's second law for both block 1 and block 2. We recognize that the summation of Fy is equal to N12 minus Mg. This is equal to 0. This is equal to 0. This means that N12 is equal to Mg. By definition, F K12 is equal to mu1 n12, which will be equal to mu1 mg. So if we sum the forces along the x direction, we will have um, block 1 is moving in this direction to the left, and block 2 is moving to the right. So this will be negative t minus plus f k one two equal to negative negative m a so if we simplify we will have um if we multiply throughout by minus we'll have t minus mu one m g equal to m a let's call this equation one let's call this equation one now if we apply do the same thing for block two we know that the summation of f y will be equal to n s one minus n two one minus two m g equal to zero this would mean that Ns1 is equal to, remember that N12 is equal to N21 by Newton's third law. So this will be equal to 3mg, which totally makes sense. Similarly, the sum of forces along the x direction, you will have F minus T 
minus F K two one equal to two M G. But what do we know? We know that the system moves with a constant speed. The fact that the speed of the system is constant is an indication that A is equal to zero, which means that T is equal to mu one mg. So we know the value for t. We can then substitute the value for t in this expression and calculate the value for f. So this means that um, f minus t, which is mu1 mg minus fk21 is equal to 2ma. 2 M A. Remember, the acceleration of the system is equal to zero because the system is moving at a constant speed. So, um, by Newton's third law, by Newton's third law, F K one two is equal to F K two one, and we know that F K two one is equal to mu one m g. What that implies is that F minus mu1 m minus mu1 mg is equal to zero. In other words, in other words, f will be equal to 2 mu1 mg. So this is the value of f required to cause the system to move with a constant as with a constant speed. Um, this is actually my one of my most recent examination questions. So um, you review this over and over and make sure you understand the principles or the concepts exposed by this problem. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask uh, in the discussion forum below. Thank you so much and uh, remain blessed. Bye. Brooklyn, Queensbridge, the Bronx.